Venn diagrams, well done. If you said Venn diagrams, well done, we heard you. Fantastic stuff. Fabulous. So yeah, this is Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams is all about putting things into into groups um, and then using numbers afterwards. So we're gonna this is a, although it's a math lesson, we're gonna start with some pictures. Because what we'd normally do, if you were sitting in front of us, we would put you into groups. Um, what groups should we do? Ooh, Mr. Brown, what how we about do? should we do hair and eyes? So hair yeah. colour and eye colour. So I'm how what are you thinking? So let's go brown hair. Mm, brown hair. In this circle. Okay. okay. Um, brown hair in this circle. And blue eyes. Blue eyes, okay. Okay. Blue eyes for that circle. And it, it's always good to label your circles so you don't forget which one is which. Um, so if you've got brown hair, you're going to go in this circle here. Uh, if you've got blue eyes, you're going to go in this circle here. I've got a question, sir. Yeah. Okay, but how about where they intersect or they overlap here. If you've got brown hair and blue eyes and mm -hmm. very important word in Venn diagrams, you're going to go in this middle section. Here. Ah, so you have to have both yeah. to go into the middle. Right, I've got that. If you don't have brown hair or blue eyes, mm -hmm. you're going to go in this outside okay. rectangle. Okay, does it matter where they go in the outside? Doesn't matter where they go. So we've got our classes on either side, so we're going to start putting them in. So you go first, Mr. Brown. Right, okay, so here we go. I've got Matthew here. Yep. So here we go. So Matthew has got blonde hair and he's got blue eyes. Okay. Right, okay. Right, so Matthew, you're going to go in the middle. Okay. Yep. Matthew, you're going to go in the middle. Okay. Right, and then you're going to go here. Yep. And then you're going to go here. Next, mm. uh, she's got blonde hair, so she can't go in there, but she does have blue eyes, so she's going to go there. Ah, okay. Excellent. Good. Right, let's have a look at the stuff up next. I've got Tommy. Right, so Tommy's got brown hair. Yep. Okay, so he could go here. Yep. But look, he's also so he's got, got blue, blue eyes. eyes. He's got to go in here as no, well. he's got to go in here. So, oh, look, in the middle, he's got Excellent. brown hair and blue eyes. So next I've got Freya. She's got brown eyes, so she can't go there. She's got brown hair. Excellent. Fantastic. Right. Oh, I've got Maisie here. Look at Maisie. So Maisie here has got brown hair and she's got brown eyes. So she's going to go here. Brown hair. In there. And again, look. Brown eyes can't go she in there. She can't go in there. there. Okay, perfect. Good. I've got Jake next. So Jake, if you're watching, I'm hoping that you've got brown hair. Because my Jake's got brown hair. And my Jake has also got blue eyes. Um, it's going to go in the middle, isn't it? Look at that, in the middle. Okay, I'm going to move Tommy down. Oh, there we go. Tommy's taking a lot of room. And there, there's Jake. Jake and Tommy in the middle. Both brown hair, blue eyes. Perfect. Who you got next? Oh, I've got Jack here. Jack. He's got brown hair and brown eyes. Oh. Brown hair. Brown hair's there. Oh, look, brown hair. Can't put him over here because yeah. he hasn't got blue eyes. So brown hair goes here. And lastly, I've got Ruby. Now, Ruby, she's a little bit on the, on the kind of evil side. She's got red eyes. Don't know why. Oh. And, and she's got blonde hair. So red eyes, blonde hair. She can't go there because she's got red eyes. She can't go there because she's got blonde hair. She's on the outside. Um, and that's Ruby's life, really, on being on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, good. Fantastic. So now we can actually do some numbers. We can do some counting now with, with what we've got. So we could say how many people have got brown hair and also got blue eyes. How many have we got, Mrs. Brown? Right, so let's have a count. We've got one, two, no, three. No, that's totally, surely. I want brown hair and blue eyes. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Brown hair and blue eyes. I've done the total, haven't I? Yes. So when you say and blue eyes, yeah. hang on a minute, let me think. So brown hair and blue eyes, that means I just want the middle bit. Just those two, yeah? Just the middle bit. Because Jay's got brown hair and he's got blue eyes. Tommy's got brown hair and he's got blue eyes. Just those two. But what were you doing when you counted all so of them? So what I was doing, I I was thinking brown hair and blue eyes combined. Right, so I that's or, isn't it? That's it. Or. So brown hair or we've got, we've got blue eyes. And, which is just that middle bit, this middle bit here, 
and we've got or, which is both the circles. Mm, okay. Very important words in Venn diagrams, and, or. And, or. Look at that and make all the difference to your answer. How many, how many have we got in total then? Right, so in total, if we're looking at in total, we have to include these people outside the circle. So in total, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight people in total. Eight people in total. So we could actually do some fractions. What fraction of our class don't have brown hair or blue eyes? So what fraction of our class don't have either? Don't have brown hair and they don't have blue eyes. Where will they be? So these are the people out here, these two, isn't outside it? our circles. Okay, so we've got one, two, so we've got two of them. Out of? Out of how many were there in total? Eight. There was eight, okay, two out of eight. Do we leave our answer like that? Should we leave it? We could leave it, couldn't we? Two out of eight is a fraction, two out of eight. We can write two eights, mm -hmm. but we could break it down, and hopefully you've learned about making your fractions into simplest form. So we could break it down to simplest form, in the brown, which is one. One quarter. Top and bottom, one, two. Excellent. Good. Let's move our classes back out then. We've done enough with them. I'm going to take my classes out. And what should we do next? Right. Have a look. Let's have a look. How about, oh, I know. Yep. Shall we give some sweets? Let's use Mr. Some, let's some sweets. <gasps> I've, I've been Who out. wants to use some sweets? Definitely going to use some sweets this time. Yes. And so you could do this at home. Just, uh, just ask whoever's looking after you to go and get some Haribo. Definitely, because you can actually say Haribo, maths, Mass and Haribo, they definitely go together. Yes, so that's what definitely. We need to clean the board. We do. Fantastic. Also, what you can do is get some, a piece of paper, a piece of A4 paper, get a pen and just draw two circles that overlap or join, like we have here. So just two circles like this, and you can try this at home. Right, so Haribo. Oh, this is my favourite yeah, yeah, yeah. part. This is my favourite part. In case, part. Uh, just in case you're not sure what Haribo look, look like. We've got Gold Bear, Star Mix and Tang Bass. Tang fantastic. Tang fantastic. Tang fantastic. Tang fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Let's try it with Haribo. <laughs> okay, Bye. so here we are um, over at the table and we've got our, our Haribos all set out. Um, uh, I've given you more than Oh, lovely. Thank you, Mr. Kaysen. Thank you. And we're going to sort them into groups. What, what, what should we go with first, then, Mrs. Brown? Right, I think we should go for yellow and green. Should okay. we sort those? So, so we're going to say. If it's got if it's if it's got yellow in it goes here. Okay. If it's got green in it goes here. Right. If it's got both colours in, it goes in the middle. Yeah? Perfect. Yellow, right, okay. Green. Okay, right, so, okay. so yellow. Yellow goes so that's here. Got yellow. And that's got yellow but not okay. green and yellow. That's green, yeah. Okay. Yellow. Oh we've got some greens, uh, got some greens. Uh ooh, yellow and green. Yellow. Ooh, yellow and green. Oh look at that, yellow. Ooh, this green. one's green and yellow. Ooh. It still goes in the middle. Here we go. This one doesn't have yellow or green. That's got no, yellow. No. That's got yellow no, in. No. Oh, so can you remind me, what do I do if I don't have no. yellow or green? What do I do I with them? I put mine on the outside. All around, around the, the circles. All around the outside. All around the outside. You've okay, got a lot look. Around the outside like I've got lots and lots. Here we go. Look at that. Okay. So they're all around the outside. So I've just got okay. yellow, green, and yellow and green. Okay, so I've got, I'm going to do a quick count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. So the fraction that is yellow and green is 3 out of 18. 3 out of 18. 3 out of 18. What's okay. your fraction? Right, okay. So let me count mine. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 1, 2, 3, 24, 25. 25. Okay, so I have got 1. 1 that out of 25. Is Yellow and green, so yeah. one out of twenty-five. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Should we try it again? Let's do it let's again. Try, okay. Let's do it let's again. Clear them off. Clear them right, off. Beautiful. So shall we off. do? Should we do white and yellow now? White and yellow. White okay. and yellow. Okay. Coming off. Oh, they get stuck. Right. It's getting oh, a bit look, sticky, aren't they? You have to eat them at the right, end. Right. We will. White and yellow. So white, yellow, white and yellow. Perfect. Okay. Right. Okay. So this one's got oh, white, white and yellow. White. So oh, white and yellow. Lovely, I like white these white and yellow. yellow ones. Look at that. Uh, yellow. And then yellow's here, right. Yellow. They've got I've yellow got in. I've got some yellow there. Yellow in. Mm. These ones we've got all, I've got a lot of what white. I've got here. I've got some whites uh, here. White, white. And I've got no white or yellow. Uh, so these cola bottles are, are translucent, so they're going to go white, on the outside. Okay. They're not actually right. white. So these go, go around the outside. There we go. Done. Good. Right. Okay. So I have got the same amount in the middle. I've got three. So my my fraction for the white and yellow 
is the same for the yellow and green. Three okay. out of 18. Three out of 18. Yeah. Okay, so my one is slightly different. Mine's now going to be two. I've got two in the middle, two out of 25. And I can't simplify that anymore. So it's could just I simplify mine? Five. Is that what you're saying? I could simplify mine, couldn't I? You could, yeah. yeah three out of 18. Three out of 18. One out of six. One out of six. One divide out of six. top and bottom by yeah. three. Okay, yeah. one out of six. Mm -hmm. Excellent, okay. Yeah. Should we try again? Let's yeah, try again. let's do it again. This is brilliant. I love this. Because right. I know that in the end I'm going to eat these. <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. Right, so let's have a look. So what should we do now? What do you think we should do? Well, let's try Let's try something with shapes this time. Mm. Should we try the bears? Um, the bear, bears. Mm -hmm. The bears anything, here. Yeah, yeah, anything that's orange. And okay. anything that's orange and a bear. Right, okay. Oh, I've got one. Look, I've got that's an right. orange bear. Oh, right. Yeah, there we yeah. go. So, orange and a bear. So, oh, I oh, oh, don't have much. So, well, I do have bears, though. I've got, I've got another bear. Right, let's have a look at my bears. So, I'm going to pop my bears in. So, I'm always on. Is that a bear? I mean, I can't really tell. No, that's, that's not, not a bear. bear no, that's a, a bear. That's not a bear and it's not so orange. That's not. No, that's a red. Bear, that's red. So that's I've got not a bear. No. Right, and all of these. Oh, not left. Oh, dear. That's a jelly baby now. Right. Bears and orange, bears and oh. It's a bit sparse, oh, they isn't do it? Smell nice. It's a bit sparse. This is a great lesson. I love this. Right. It might have a burst, by the way. But no. Oh, are they? Oh, really? Oh, well, now you've touched them all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All, all you you've got a lot more bears than me. I have, haven't I? Yeah. Right. So, what is my fraction going to be now? What for the middle? For the middle. So, bears and orange is yours is one out of twenty-five. One out of twenty-five. Mine is also one, but one out of eighteen. One out of eighteen. Okay. So, if we were talking about probability, which is to do with chance. Hmm. Do you have, if you were to, if I had all mine in a bag and all yours are in a bag, the chance of picking an orange bear from my bag is 1 out of 18, mm -hmm. and the chance from your bag is 1 out of 25. 1 out of 25. Which is the better chance? Right, so what is the better chance? 1 that's out of 18 or some, 1 out of 25. For the bigger fraction, so mm -hmm. the, the larger values, that's mm -hmm. going to be. One out of eighteen. It is, isn't it? One out of one eighteen. Out of 18. Is a better chance mm. than one out of twenty-five. So Got what was that word again? Prob probability. 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 The probability. chance of picking chance. something. That's a great. Yeah, which word. is a which is a big big topic in Venn diagrams. Mm -hmm. so Venn diagrams are very useful when it comes to probability and predicting probabilities. Excellent. You can do so much with haribos. I have no idea. Haribos. And they're quite tasty as well. Exactly. You have Let's a treat one more. at the end. Brilliant. Let's do one more. Right. One more. Oh, drop them down. Right. So now. Right, still in the middle. Last right. one. Let's do one more. Let's do red and white. Red and white. Red and white. Good. Right. Okay. So, so red here. Red here. White okay. there. Right. Red and white. Okay. So, so I've got. So I can see I've got red I've and white hearts. So I've got lots of red and white hearts. Red and white. Okay. So can you see they're both red and white? Excellent. So that goes in the middle. So red. I don't have anything that's red by the looks of it. Right. But I I've do got have got some little bits of white on these got eggs. White. That's it. Yeah. Me too. I'm going to put my and whites in there. Around the outside. Oh, now these are. Would you say they're pink? I'm going to go red with them. Are you going to go red? I'm going to go red with them. Okay. All right. So all right. So they're red. Oh, okay. But they've got pink, so they can't go in the middle. So I'm going to put those there, and then everything else goes round the middle. Look at that. Excellent. Right, beautiful. Oh no, that one goes there. Oh, sneaked out that sneaked one. Sneaked out. Look, we've got to double check. Right, there we go. So I've got a blank part here, which which is basically my reds. I don't have anything that's just got red in it. I've only got things that have got red and white. So the probability of mm -hmm. you putting your hand into that sweet bag yep. and pulling out just a red sweet, how would you say that as a fraction? Well, it's nothing, is it? I've got no chance. So there, there is no chance. That, that'd be naught out of 18. It would be. Which is still just zero, nothing, it naught. Is. Yep. yep. Okay. So zero chance of pulling a red sweet out of that bag, just you, a red. For me, wowzers, I've got much more of a chance. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five out of. 25, 25. Which we can break down 5 out of 25. 5 out of 25, divide numerator and denominator by 5, so 1 fifth. 1, one, one out of 5. 1, one fifth. out of 5. One fifth. Okay, what, what is your chance of picking then a red or a white? A red 
or a white. Okay, so it can be either red yeah. or it can be white. So that means I have to add all of these up in both circles. Both circles, yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 yeah, out of the total, so 12 out of 25. We couldn't resist, but really, I can't write that down. Can we try that down? What should we do? What's that number should we use? We had a big set of hobos. Now we need a set of numbers. How about 1 to 20? 1 to 20. Should we do 1 to 20? Mm. Right. 20. So, we're oh, going to write these. Yeah. So, should we write them as... I'm just squiggling this. What? what is that? That means the universal set. So that is all the numbers in this rectangle. The universal set mm -hmm. are going to be numbers... I'm just going to have another one while you write this. 1 to 20. 1 to 20. Good. Okay, and numbers 1 to okay. 20. Okay, and let's do uh, multiples of 3. Multiples of 3. What are the multiples of 3? Brilliant. So, anything in 3 times tables. So, 3, 6, 9, 12. You know your 3 times tables, mm -hmm. don't you? And even. In this Ooh. one. Even numbers in this one. Even numbers. Okay. Yep. Right. Okay, so let's start at number 1. Number one, that's not a multiple of three, it's not an even number. Mm. So I'm going to write it out here. It doesn't okay. go into any of the circles. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hunt in a slightly different way. Because mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, let's go one, two, three, four, five. Mm. I'm going to just write the multiples of three out over nice. here. I like so that. I'm going to write three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, seventeen, twenty one, because I'm only going up to twenty. And then I'm going to have a look at any of those that are even. Mm -hmm. What we're yeah. doing, so yeah. six is even. So that must go in there. It's a multiple of three, and it's even. Twelve is even, so it goes in the middle. And Eighteen is even, so it goes in the middle. Now, I've already done the middle. Nothing else is going to go in the middle. Nothing. Anything else that's here, the three, the nine, and the fifteen, is a multiple of three. Ah, oh, I really like how you did that, and mm -hmm. I loved how you crossed them off, because mm -hmm. then you don't get confused and you don't repeat the numbers. Okay. Okay, perfect. So even numbers, mm -hmm. now now I can do my, I can count in evens, two, four, six, eight, so I can count up my even numbers, I'm going to eat this last hobo as I do it, very rude, <laughs> I, do, I do apologise. So even numbers, two, that's going to go in there, four, six, Bad. eight, ten, 12, already there. 14, 16, 18, 20. Now okay. I just need to decide what I haven't used because that's going to go on the outside. Oh, well, okay. okay. So if we've got numbers 1 to 20, mm -hmm. I'm going to run through in my head all the numbers 1 to 20. I've got one here that's yep. at the beginning. Oh, Whoops. Leave that. Leave that on the floor. <laughs> I've got two, three, four, five. 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 We haven't got five, so we're going to pop that outside. Six, we got. Six. Seven goes outside. Seven. Eight we've got. Nine we've got. Ten we've got. Eleven goes outside. There we go. And Twelve we've got. Thirteen we haven't got. Thirteen's not there. That goes on the outside. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen goes on the outside. Eighteen we've got. Nineteen goes on the outside. There we go. Mm. And then just to double check, we've captured all the numbers. I always do a very quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes. Got all the numbers. Them. Fantastic. Well done, Mr. Brown. And so, well, we can do something with that now. Mm. So numbers 1 to 20. Um, what fraction of the numbers between 1 and 20 are multiples of 3 and also even numbers? And also even. 3. Look at that. The beauty of this is that we can see straight away. We don't have to look, we can just see there's three numbers. So writing that as a fraction. Well, we so, yeah. 20, 3, over 20. There we go. We can't stop it like that down. anymore. Perfect. Okay. Okay. How about what fraction of numbers mm -hmm. are multiples of multiple of three or even? Right. Or means that they're in both circles. Mm -hmm. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that would be 13 out of 20. 13 over 20, 13 out of 20. Can't break it down. Can't break that Fantastic. down, no. Brilliant. Um, what should, should we try another one? Let's try another one. Let's yeah, try another one. Let's I'm going to write those out. Where's, where's the board one? That's the board one. The board one is eating the hamburger. There we go. <laughs> on the other side of the classroom. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of all of my little titles and. Right, so I think we should do, how about multiples of 2 mm -hmm. and multiples of 5? Should we do 1 to 20 again? Yes, let's do numbers okay. 1 to 20. So 1 to 20, 
and we want to do multiples of 2 and multiples of 5. So multiples totally different now. of 2, as we said, very important to write your labels so you know mm -hmm. what you're doing, and multiples, multiples of 5. Okay, perfect. Good. So um, I'm going to have to think about the numbers between 1 and 20. I might write them down. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do yeah, that. Yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hey, oh, cool. excellent. Right. Cool. And I'm going to start across the off, I think. Right, so I'm going to do it how and you started. Over to you. Right, you multiples of two. So I've got to think, what are multiples of two? So we've got two. Yep. Four. Yep. Six. Yep. Eight. Yep. Ten. Careful. That's a multiple of five, isn't it? So that goes in the middle. Ten. Yep. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty is also a multiple of five. In the middle. So that goes in the middle. Lovely. I've done my multiples of two. Over to you, sir. Multiples of five. So. Mm. Oh, we should have got them off. Actually, turn. let's off do that. Two, yeah. four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Yeah. There we go. So multiples done. of five. Five. Uh, which is, is not in the middle, 5, 10, in, in the middle, in the middle 15, now. 20. There we go. Done. What goes on the outside is anything that's left in our big long list. So call them out. This we've is got 1, we've got 3, we've got 7, we've got 9, we've got 11, we've got 13, we've got 17, and we've got 19. That's a lot. There Good. we go. And then, do you know, because I like to double check that everything's been captured. Count, go on 1, then. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Brilliant. Yes. They're all there. They're all there. 20 Excellent. and 20. Good. Okay. So, again, we can do another little bit of maths if we wanted to. We can say, uh, what's, what's the probability that if we picked a number at random between 1 and 20, what's the probability that that number would be a multiple of 2 and also a multiple of 5? 2 out of 20. One, two numbers out of a total of 20 numbers. Breaks down to? One tenth. One tenth. By numerator and denominator one by tenth. two. So, and one tenth, what a beautiful number. There's so many words, there's lots of ways we can describe one tenth, especially in probability. So we can have one tenth, we could have 0.1, because it's the same. 0 0.1, or we could even convert it into a percentage. And percentages and probability, they can be used. So we can use percentage in probability, so we can get 10%. 10% chance, a 0.1 chance, or a one tenth chance, one in ten. And we can use all of that language, can we, Mr. Kirsten? Absolutely, all any of that of language. Every single one of those mm. would be fine. In fact, with probability, we don't have to break it down. We don't have to break it down. So if you were doing a GCSE, mm. like the year 11s do, mm. and your answer was two twentieths, that'd be the right answer. Mm -hmm. If you broke it down to one tenth, that'd be the right answer. If you changed it to 0.1, that would be the right answer. And guess what? If you change it to 10%, still the right answer. The right answer. Yes. Yeah, yes, they're all things. equivalent. Brilliant. So I think I think that's good. I think we'll go uh, there. I yeah. think we're good. Perfect. Good. So um, if you come to Noel Academy, we definitely will be playing with sweets because we quite enjoy playing with sweets. We are playing with sweets. I'm just gonna grab another one. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm gonna get in there before stuff. Mr. Casey finishes mm. them all. Right. But also, we'll be using sweets teach you about numbers mm -hmm. and how numbers work. So, thank you very much. Well, that was brilliant. I love that lesson on Venn diagrams. Hope you enjoyed it too, and we hope to see you later. Yeah. I'm okay. going to go home now. Excellent. Bye. Okay, bye.